This is a 1643 pattern matchlock musket. And the way it's fired is you put gunpowder into the pan, gunpowder down the other end, and to make him go bang, a piece of burning match cord is fastened in and you simply pull the trigger and the burning match cord ignites the gunpowder. It's very, very slow firing, a good musketeer. One, maybe two shots per minute. When a musket ball from this hits you, it punches a hole in. It doesn't cut it like a modern bullet. So the wounds can be absolutely staggering, pushing bone out the back. I'm gonna fire this. Now I'm using a cartridge, just a paper cartridge of gunpowder. You bite the end off. I'm gonna fill the pan full of gunpowder. There we go, just enough. Close that, blow off or shake off any loose powder, but watch that burning match because you could set off the charge. It often happened in the Civil War. You then bring your musket so that you can see down the muzzle, down the barrel, shake down the gunpowder. You then put a musket ball down. You then put the broken paper in there, which acts as a wipe. Take out your scouring stick, reverse it, shorten it to a handful. You then scour home your charge. Because the soldiers were so nervous of these, it's the beginning of drill movement. Remove thy scouring stick, reverse it, replace it. Because if you didn't replace your scouring stick and you fired, you'd shoot that wooden stick at the enemy and wouldn't be able to reload. They then must blow upon their match cord. <sighs> Make sure you've got a burning tip there. Once again, you've got to fit it into those jaws. And right in the heat of battle, you've got to ensure that that will actually touch the gunpowder. We're now ready to fire. And what you simply do is open that pan, present and give fire. And that's how it's done.